girl Cora the artist, and I'm here with the voice of the youth, Taco Talks TV, and we lit! Hey man, thanks for pressing play, man. And you tuned in with the voice of the youth, Taco Talks TV. And Cora the artist, sorry y'all. Yeah, now nah, she was getting down. What up, though? I feel good, can I curse? Yeah, you can do whatever you want to do. You want to curse, middle fingers, this is how I'm feeling, like my man all summer. I saw Sam House, but everybody. <laughs> my man, hey, shout out to my man Jiggy. I met Jiggy at the beginning of the summer. Okay. And he told me he was saying, when you do middle fingers with no thumbs, it's way more aggressive than middle fingers with thumbs. Because more middle fingers with thumbs is like relaxed. And middle fingers with no thumbs is like really up. He's pretty smart. He should go to read body language and shit like that. Yeah, he do look like a professor. But what's up with you? Nothing much. Just um, working and living life and being happy and being yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, let's get into your story. What was it like? How you start rapping or singing or both or said how you start rapping. You heard that you gonna get rapping bitch. Okay, yeah. anyway. Um <laughs> and I I used to do what every little girl do like singing party for Teddy Bears and shit. And I um, my first two CDs was like Shade and yeah. Brady Spears. I know that's mad random, but like that's what I used to listen to and sing to and shit like that. And then for a long time I wasn't really singing, I was doing like the business side of it. I went to uh UMB, shout out to UMB. Okay. Um, for like this management and marketing. Yeah. Um, but then when people like started coming out with my kind of like tone, yeah. I was like, all right, I can do this. And then it, it started transforming to all types of shit, like rapping, singing, all types of shit. And yeah. from there, like five years ago, I took a series when I was like a junior in college. Okay. Okay. So you finished college? Oh yeah, I graduated. Yeah. Two degrees, bitch. Okay. Okay. I see. Yeah. Um, was it raised like that, or it was cool? It was cool, and high school it was like that, but okay. college day was cool because I had gotten into the whole like, man, fuck the system, and yeah. I'm rebelling, and I was in that shit, so I was just like, yeah. I mean, I got like a 3.0 throughout the whole thing. Like, okay. I wasn't going to be too bad, because okay. I know I'm like real life, like okay. real life. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Um, dang, so what was, what was your favorite song that you were singing, like, to your teddy bears, other than the CDs you had? Like, what was the one song you were going to go back to? Damn, that's a lot. I used to love, like, excuse me, Alicia Keys. Yeah, Alicia Keys. So much. And she had so many songs, man. Like, I forget the name of the album with the piano on it. And she, like, I don't know what she's talking about. <laughs> no, I know Alicia Keys, but I don't know none of the albums. Yeah, like, like Secret or... Yeah, see, it was like that. I like the joint where she was in the bar. Uh, not in the bar. You mean the little, uh, Breakfast Place? Yeah. Um, you don't know, you know, uh, you know my name. Yeah, yeah, that was my shit. Crazy. Yeah, I was singing stuff like that. Um, I was singing a lot of Sade, like, this is no old yeah. Like, and all types of shit, man. Like, and even rock, like, Paramore was my shit. Yeah, Paramore was going crazy. Okay. They was my shit. Coldplay, motherfucking, um. Green Day. Whoever did the I Rise and the Nemesis before I ever heard of. Hey, I don't know. in the Captain's door. Like I've been doing this profession for five years, there's a lot of fuck shit going on. There's yeah. a lot of fuck shit 
Nah, no, I didn't know. Um, and do you think that it takes like a long time to get to that place, or you think that you're gonna do it overnight? Cause I feel like everyone's time is different. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. like I'm a, I'm a huge fan of Rico Nasty. I love her. I met her one time. And, um, what was that? Stage. Yeah. And she was working for like maybe two, three years, and she had a really, a, a really good support system yeah. that, of people in the industry and. To her, she feels like it's going really fast and like it's happening overnight and she's really young, so that's lit. But then there's some people that, like Kanye, he was maybe like 27, 28 when he got one, you know what I'm saying? He's like 41 right now. Yeah, so you gotta understand like yeah, how long that is. Like everyone's timing is different. And you can't, if, if you're an artist, you can't get caught up into like other people's timing. Like it's happening fast for them, so don't do that. Like that's the devil, like the Instagram is the devil. Yeah. So, like, I swear. You don't be on there or what? No, Look at anybody else because that's when you can stumble. Like, if you're not focused, like, I'm a tour, so I'm very target based. You give me a target, I'm going for it. Like, I'm not looking. Okay. And you know, I might fuck other people up. Yeah. But I don't give a fuck. Okay, okay. Um, do you, like, how did you grow to that mindset? You know what I'm saying? Like, it's gonna, a lot of fucking failure. Yeah. And so, any failures made you really want to quit? Um, not, not musically. Like, in my personal life, I fail in my relationship. Yeah. Some big crabby shit. I was like, yeah. I don't want to do nothing no more. I'm just yeah. gonna say I don't want to do nothing. Yeah. But like, nah, like I haven't got to that point where I just wanna quit because if I quit, I'm not gonna like I'm not gonna get what I want. Like, yeah. that don't make no sense. You try so hard, you're like, oh I'm not there yet. Well if you quit, yeah. you're also not gonna get there. Like yeah. so not yet. I'm pretty sure some shit that's gonna go down that I'm not face. Nah, I speak that it's really business. Alright, right. <laughs> But I'm prepared, nigga, so it's yeah. great. <laughs> and you said you were a tourist. How you feel about astrology? Like, you be reading up? Like, look, look, look. I met this joint and, uh, and Chick fil A the other day. I was with my mind. Damn, Chick fil A's not fun. Chick fil A is a tourist. Chick fil A is also Polynesian. Mm. Nah, mm. can't be trusted. Mm. Can't be trusted. Sorry, guys. Nah. Both are wrong. Nah, Polynesian. Polynesian is banging and Chick fil A is like, They had a different, like, but similar type of. Alright, alright. Yeah. I told somebody, I want to go back to the shower, but mm-hmm. Chick fil A first. Chick fil A. Chick fil A. Shout like, out, sponsor. Yeah, please. Indoors. And Lido's, because Lido's be tossed too. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, um, is fire. <laughs> uh, what was I about to say? I'm about to say something. Oh, I think what happened at Chick fil A is the Chick fil A sauce and honey mustard, the labels got switched on accident, and they just said, fuck it. Yeah. Because the honey mustard, is really ass. That's that's probably a fact. Sorry, Chick Fil A. Yes, that I mean. But the honey, the, the Chick Fil A sauce tastes like it could be honey mustard, like a, like a sweet. And version. that's why I like the Polynesian because it is what it is. It's like okay, it's you know, authentic. It's, yes, it's kind of there we go. Okay, okay, okay. Um, back to astrology though. Like this girl, she pulled out the. Uh, she was like, yeah, talk about you the beauty, Venus, Moon. Oh, oh, God, sorry. No shit, no shit, no shit. Sorry. <laughs> That's my personal opinion off camera. Anyway, yeah. but, um, no, I don't know what that deep into okay. it. Um, I just, it's it's more of, like, a technique to understand who I'm about to be dealing with. Yeah. But it's, like, it's just a trend. It's not necessarily what you're going to do or who yeah. you are. It's just a trend, like, a pattern that these specific yeah. group of people do. Like, what's your sign? I'm a Aquarius. <laughs> y'all some crazy motherfuckers though, but yeah, y'all wow, y'all gotta switch. You know what I'm saying? Like y'all be really good with like shutting down when shit about to go down and like processing it for a long time, thinking of every like possible way to yeah. make a decision. Yeah. Put the switch on. Yeah, that's what happened today. You know? <laughs> okay, so like Aquarius are really cool. Like female Aquarius have like a wilder side to them, but the niggas be what just as wild, low key. But yeah. y'all just are calculated in a weird way, but y'all like the air, so y'all like yeah. it's a whole lot about yeah. y'all. Like y'all really cool. Like y'all can fit in anywhere, and yeah. you know what I'm saying. But y'all also are really fucking weird. Yeah, and you need to get your shit together. <laughs> you sound like my manager right now. <laughs> you going crazy? You talking about the same 
same stuff. But it's like, I don't know you though. So yeah. you could, it could be, it's very contextual. So yeah. you just gotta remember that. That doesn't go for everybody, but that's just what I, I realized. But I don't know that deep. I just know like, hey, this is you, this is you. Yeah. I really don't fuck with these kind of people, but I yeah. would be like, oh, I'm not gonna fuck with you because you're something like this. Yeah. I'm like, oh, I can get to know you. And if you start showing red flags, my guy, yeah. or sis, yeah. like, Somebody, somebody came up to me in this room. It was a New Year's party, and it just came out of the blue. And she was like, she was like, um, "Are you an Aquarius?" I said, "Go ahead, fool." <laughs> it ain't no way, cause I'm like, and I ain't say nothing. I knew one person at the party. I'm in the joint, cool, and I'm cranking out. Was she an Aquarius too? No, nah, I don't remember where her sign was, but um, nah, but, nah, no, it but it was just crazy that she was like, "You an Aquarius?" I'm like, I didn't know that. She was like, just. The kind of energy that you're giving off and how you doing, but I'm like, how you know on the spot? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like 12 of a 13 or however many horoscopes or whatever they call it. Off, but, <laughs> and she just pointed out, it was a little bit crazy, but what I was going to say, let's go back to the music. Mm-hmm. What kind of music you be aiming to make? I don't aim anymore. Um, for the long time, I was like, what's my sound? What's my sound I'm about to do? Yeah. But, um, Whatever I'm, I'm inspired by, whoever artist that just uh, dropped a project or something that I really love, like I'll try to aim for something. My vocal, yeah. like you know, you can recognize my voice on this, on a song, so that's what makes it all kind of like going together. Okay. Other than that, if not, I, I do I do a lot of different records, like country, pop. Country. Mm-hmm. No, like you really got some country. Country drinks. records, yeah, because I'm a songwriter too, so. All right, but like. I write for a lot of other people. Like okay, some things okay, won't so work not before the, the country. I am singing the country. Oh, you. But it's like, like I'll country. reference it. I'll write. I'll make the record. Okay. Like if I'm feeling some type of way, I'll make a record, and then if uh, I play a catalog and if yeah. the artist likes that particular record, I give it to them. Um, songwriting. How does that work? So that uh, so that like if you offer enough and you like, hey, talk I'm a songwriter. Here's a song I thought you would sound good on. How do you do that? So that the artist is not like, oh, you think I'm some shit? You think I need this song? Oh yeah, like, um, it's more so like a collaborative thing. It's not like you ask them, oh, let me let me write a song for you. It's yeah. like we're, we both respect each other as artists, right? Yeah. So like, come in the studio, yeah, vibe okay. with me, and I might have like a song that just has a hook on it, and okay. I'm just playing. My shit, we vibe and get to know each other's sound. Yeah. And he's like, yo, I fuck with that one. And okay. I'm like, oh right, yeah, write something to it. And then okay. he's like, oh well, no, nah, like let's, I'll, I'll write the first verse for you. Like it's like more like organic. It's okay. not like, oh yeah, I'm trying to write this. And that's just like a label reaching out to you, yeah. like, hey, we got these said artists that want these kind of records. Send these kind of records to this email. Okay. Then that's another thing, but they reach out to you, so it's like, okay, because when dope. you get like in a major setting, like. You're gonna have other. You're gonna collaborate with a lot of motherfuckers. Yeah, so yeah. you just, you know, you're gonna get a couple of songs that's written for you sometimes. Um, what's playing more features or or songwriting? Right now, maybe not for you, but, but overall. Uh, right now, songwriting definitely songwriting. It depends because features depend on like your level of success as an artist so like yeah. uh, I might get a cute full feature for five racks mm-hmm. but I might get a, a glizzy or a future Jones for 50 racks Jeez. you feel me because they're Grammy nominated artists so yeah. well I don't know if future's Grammy nominated I think he is is he? he probably is I don't know I'm not quite sure I know glizzy is so okay. that's what that's the difference so you depending on the artist you are you can get yeah. Because you can get that right there. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. that's easy money. Like, yeah. I've seen Glizzy in the studio do shit. Like, somebody just give some bands for a feature and he just yeah. knock that shit out and boom. Yeah. You could use that to pay studio time. It's yeah. like triple the amount. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's like that for real. So, that's lit. But for me, in my specific situation, I'm still up and coming. So, I get features, but, yeah. and, and people pay me for them, but I don't hit people's head because. Yeah. I only go and really charge you for real if I don't really know you like yeah. that and I like your sound. But if I know you, we can work something out. Like, I'm yeah. not about to charge you. Like, trade yeah. all shit. You know nah, I be telling people that I ain't going to bust your head, but you do got to pay. You do got to pay something. You and that's pay. what it comes to my studio. Like, I take care of my engineer, my producer, David. Yeah. So, like, if you want to feature David me. Knox. Yeah, David Knox. Yeah, I, will, like I will grab, like, some studio time with him and... and and do the song so like I'll tell you hey give me 150 for the feature if I mm-hmm. fuck with you and I'm just paying for the studio time like yeah. if this nigga's in Atlanta that's not here that yeah, can't yeah. come with me you know what I'm saying so yeah. that's kind of how it works but for right now me songwriting is was paying um, most of my bills yeah. and um, other hustles as well okay okay I respect that mm-hmm. um, 
what kind of things you be getting into for fun? <laughs> I like to smoke a lot of weed. Yeah. Eat. Um, All right. I'm wait, a wait, wait. chill person. What you roll up? You rolling up grams or better? Or you rolling up like four grams in the backwood? Or how you going? Or you hitting like three J's or grams? No. Okay. So my grams, like I stretch it to two because I'm still like broke. Yeah. So <laughs> I need my yeah. creative stuff. So yeah. I'll break my grams down into two blunts. Yeah. Sheets and funnel, bad yeah. booze or raws, don't give a fuck. Raws are better for you, but bad yeah. booze just hit like that. It just give you that, yeah. you know what I'm saying? But that's how I roll, and I always, like, I love, maybe, like, I'll smell, like, seven grams a day or a day. every two days. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Every two days. It depends. Like, if I'm down and yeah. I don't got no money, then I ain't smoking. Yeah. So that's cool, but that's rare. How do you, how do you say it? Like, what's that like for you? I'm terrible at saving, but I just got good at it, like, as of recently. Um, what saving kind? is hard, especially when you don't have, like, an actual, like, 9-to-5 job and you're yeah. doing music and yeah. you got to travel. Like, I just set up a mini tour, so you, you got to cover all those costs. Yeah. Um, so, like, it's, it's a whole fucking lot. Yeah. To really, to really sit here and, like, go through all of it, it wouldn't be we'll be here for hours yeah yeah um as a, as a female artist you think it's any super big differences between you and male artists or like just how things work as of recently um no like female what you mean by that um i mean like is it do you feel like it's harder for you to do certain things like people want you to be like oh come do a music video with me and i'll do a feature for you or is it more like, all right, come on, just pay and we do one? Or like, what kind of... Because I know, I know a lot of female artists be going through like weird stuff. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, it depends. Like, <clears throat> I have a real like business aura when I step into a room. So, yeah, I think I'm a very attractive young lady, but nobody's going to really gonna try me. Like, because yeah. I'm not going to allow it. Like, you might flirt yeah. and I might be like, huh, <laughs> okay. But I'm like real cool. Like, I'm a nigga. Yeah. So, like, yeah. it's like we can vibe off the fact that I... I that you cool this Yeah, day. like, that's it. But, yeah. like, yeah, we deal with some... I deal with some weird shit, but, like, I prefer working with males because um, they just get to the point, you know what I'm saying? Females, it's, it's, it's a lot of, like, low-key, like, envy and shit like yeah. that. Like, but don't get me wrong. I, I work with a lot of females. I love a lot of females around here. Like, I was telling you, Mama Lon, I work with yeah. her all the time. Like, like, Risa Renee, all these great... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Risa Renee, too. All Risa's these great like artists. That. Yes, like, there's some beautiful people artists but it's a boy they're amazing but some people try to come and learn your way of doing things and, success, you know correct. what i'm saying like they try and get on the inside and figure out what you got going on because again they're going back to that comparing thing yeah. so it can get a little messy with females i haven't really experienced anything i just know that that that, that, that is a thing yeah. so i'm watching out for it like everyone i work with is very selective because yeah. it's like you, you don't you got, I'm very sensitive to energy. Like, if your energy ain't right, I can't fuck with you. Yeah. What kind of uh, upcoming projects you got? What's I up next? So much catalog, y'all. Like, so much songs. I got yeah. so much sauce. Yeah. But, um, okay, so this is what I'm doing. Right now, I'm just releasing like a song every month. So yeah. I'm trying to do like a market research thing where I'm trying to figure out what the hell y'all want from the kid. Yeah. What sound y'all like. Y'all fucking with the sell away shit. Yeah. So. I'm like going to go that way and see if y'all fucking with that. I got a lot of visuals lined up. Yeah. Um, but as far as a project, yeah. Well, visuals I'm, like that too. I think people enjoy seeing artists. They do like so much more now because of Instagram and yeah. all that shit. Like you gotta have a visual most yeah. of the time, and that shit costs bread, son. You yeah. Gotta, you gotta really be smart. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so I'm just gonna uh, work on a project once I I land some type of distribution with like. In Atlantic or Def Jam yeah. or something like that. Yeah. Like, but I'm trying to build a buzz so I can like partner with them versus be signed under them. Yeah. Type thing. Respect, respect. Um, how you link up with Flex? Hey, well, Flex. Yeah. Um, I'm real weird, y'all, so don't don't mind me. Nah, it's cool. Um, Flex. <laughs> okay, so David Knox. Yeah. Goat. Yeah. Okay. He did his project two years ago when he was at this studio. I forgot the name of the studio. But he did this project that Flex did a long time ago. He had like Wale, Philade on it. It was yeah. really dope. And they came in the studio. It was him, DJ Money, Biggs, Phil, and my girl Amber. Like, it was a lot of people that came in. Yeah. And um, 
my photographer now, Red, like one of my photographers that I fucked with real hard. Yeah. He was there too. So we was all in session and I met Flex there. And from there, I just like reached out to, shout out to Dave for that. But I reached out to um, Flex and I was like, I got this record, like just do this shit, son. Like, Cause we had already built the relationship. And he was like, oh, I got you since. So I sent it to him and then it took him a while to do it. And then he finally did it cause he'd be moving. He's real busy or whatever. Yeah. And he finally did it, and he uh, and I got it back, and I just got straight to mixing it and ready to put it out, yeah. right? So I didn't say nothing back to him. He was like, did you like it, son? And I was like, yes, <laughs> son, it's so crazy. He's like, I already got to work some more. And then from there, like, he invites me to perform at all his shows. I invite yeah. him to perform at all my shows, and if we try to come to each other's I shows, like it's possible. Like, Flex is one nigga that really shows love. You want to know what his sign yeah. is? Really? Aquarius. Okay. Hey, so, look, me and Flex vibed out that night. We can really hop into the five random questions. All now, right, let's do it. So the five random questions. What the fuck is he about to ask me? Are five questions that, well, probably not you, but normally any other artists would be like, what the fuck, bro? Why are you just ask me some weird shit like that? Okay. Like, it's some real weird shit. Usually I'll be having them planned out, but lately I've been coming up the top just of my head. It. Yeah. All right. Well, so we talked PSA. about... You must be uh, 13 or older to watch this. Real live. I don't even know how you... You know what I'm saying? You should be watching Fortnite videos if you're under 13 on this train. But if you're supporting me, we're here for all the support. We're here for it. Um, Let's see. We talked about a lot of random stuff already, though. We did. You asked some interesting questions. Um, Let's see. What should be watching on Netflix? Would I be watching on Netflix? Yeah. Is this one of the random questions? Yeah. That's for I said... Um, I be watching all the Marvel shit. Like uh, Luke Cage and... Yes, and the motherfucking... What's the Thunder nigga? Black Lightning. I'm Black watching Lightning. that this week. Hey, look. I stayed up last night till yes. 3 o'clock in the morning. And I got to like episode 7. Yes, it's going to keep getting good too. Like, um, you know, the Tomorrow People. That joint is like that. Uh, There's some weird shit. It's what like... About, uh, Orange is the New Black. Yeah, that's dope. Glow. I ain't watched that yet. It's on my list, though. It's funny as fuck, son. It's, it's like, very, like, old-school humor, but it's really fun for okay. me. Okay. Um, hella movies, like... Damn, I can't even think of all the shit, but Netflix is, like, something I really watch. And you know them sites that be having me. Yeah. Yeah, you know yeah, 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 yeah. Respect. Nah, I be on that, too. I was trying to watch True for Dead, and that joint wasn't trying to load for me. I was a little I watched mad. that. That was good. I knew it was going to be good. I seen my man from Teen Wolf. And the joint from uh, Pretty Little Liars. Mm-hmm. I'm right, gonna suggest joint. you something to watch. What? Watch Mr. Tusk. I watched that. That's ah! so crazy. Hey, look, look. I watched that joint the other day, and I told my men about it. Nobody else is watching because, like, son, because it looks weird. We some weirdos, but I like With that. Son, son, I watched that joint with my man the other day, son. You was smart. Son, yes, that uh, shit was wild, son. Please, if you got Netflix, I can't in. even say nothing. Son, it's yeah. really good. It's like a humorous, scary movie. Yes, I've never seen any production like this before. Ever which in I my think freaking life. Which I think, except for Atlanta did an episode where they went and visited that visited the nigga that looked like uh, he had like white face, like Michael Jackson. Oh yeah, yeah. now see from here. Oh, for real? Yeah, now nah, uh, the the goofy comedian they gonna go on Twitter. Oh, I didn't know. Well, there's an episode where they was they, he was acting like a creepy ass person in this yeah. house far away, and it's giving you that vibe, but it's different. Yeah. Yeah. It's different. Uh, nah, that joint is crazy. Yeah. Mr. Tuck, you ever seen Human Centipede? See. Because I watched Mr. Tusk, I don't even know if I want to see that shit, but I oh, think I should. You should have watched Human Centipede first, then Mr. Tusk. Because it's like, if you ever seen Human Centipede, it's kind of like that, but it's more goofy. Okay. All right, well, I got to see. I'm going to watch it. I'm going to try to watch it tonight. Um, see if the fuck is good. Second random question. What kind of stuff you, you order not on your burger? You know what I'm saying? Like, when you go in there and they be like. No tomatoes. That's it? Yeah. You be going crazy with, like, onions and... Yeah, like, you know, like, uh, you got to cook the onions, though. Like, okay. I like raw onion on it. So, cook the onion, lettuce, cheese. You be telling bacon. them, though, at, like, Burger King, you be like, yeah, cook the onion? Well, sometimes they're, they don't even be different. They be, like, chopped really thinly or yeah. very diced up. So, it's just, you know, I, I like onions. So, okay. like, I, I'm a savory person. Like, I just like savory stuff. When you go out to 
a restaurant, mm-hmm. what kind of soda or drink you ordering? Ginger ale. All the time. All the time. Okay, I can't be mad at that. I order Sprite. Or maybe like a strawberry lemonade. Okay. But like ginger ale. The joint with the sugar around the around the rim. Yeah. Okay. It should be banging. Respect. Or a henny and ginger ale. Okay, you like going to the mall online shopping. I'm going to say go to the mall for now. I don't know why I thought so long about that. Just because it's hands-on and, like, you know, you can try the shit on. Sometimes when you get shit offline, it's just not what you thought it was. Yeah. Um, I don't know if we're on three or four, but I just thought of some other random questions. Okay. I'm uh, there for whatever. And we getting into this. There's no rules. It's just originally five questions. Um, I almost forgot that quick. What kind of artists are you looking to work with nationally? Like, um, who's the cranking top five cranking artists? I'm trying to work with this girl named Danny D. Okay. Oh, Danny Lay. I'm sorry. Um, definitely want to work with uh, this dead or alive? Or is this just nah? Uh, I would say alive. Alive, yeah, yeah. okay, dead. yeah, because yeah, no, 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 I'll say alive. Rihanna for sure. Okay. Um, Tierra Wack. the way to the top honestly yeah like switching audiences and i think and the only other person i want to work from from here is maybe like rico or something like that but um other than that it's it's a lot of people it's a lot of people nationally like internationally nationally like oh this girl named kimbra like shavaya all the girl that just got uh one to four like son it's a lot of artists yeah yeah, yeah. um what kind of ice cream you getting into all right, so I'm not an ice cream person, but what I am, I like Italian ice. So like I'll Reeders. get Reeders. Yeah, some like Reeders, but I'll get like you know a little Italian ice from Wegmans, where they okay. have like different flavors like mango, raspberry, blue raspberry, okay. strawberry. Okay, I can dig it. I can or dig it. butter pecan. Okay. Or cookies and cream, but that's not like I don't really go for that. I go for more like the. I'm a flurry. Okay, if you went to Cold Stone, what would you get in your drink? Oh my God, birthday cake remix. That's what, what's remix? Is it like backwards birthday cake? I don't, yeah, basically it's like it's like what is that? It's ice know. cream. It's vanilla ice cream with like like yellow cake. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, and like sprinkles. Yeah, that's what I be on. Look. Yeah, like Look. it tastes like a birthday cake with ice cream, and it's so good. Some people like dough and shit. Some people we do interviews with, man. Or oh, I do interviews with. They be cool. But some people be dope as shit and be on the same way. You already know. Um, so, yeah, no, nah, that's my shit. But I don't eat birthday cake. Respect. You know? Because some birthday cakes be weird. The icings be real dyed up or whatever. Nah, this is where we at. It's not about to crumble in on you. We recording. Yeah, because you know the end of the world about to come, so. That, you feel like that for real? I don't know. <laughs> I think so. Like, I don't know if I see it in my day. My kids probably see it. Nah, I don't see that. I don't know, son. It's about time to go. It's about time for the next phase. <laughs> Dimension. Kid. Let's get out of here. Um, last random question, because I don't even know who you are. I think we like on nine. But do you ever get into I video don't think games? I you asked me nine questions, but you could have. Video games? Like, not in a long time, but I used to really love playing video games. You look like you're a crush on Fortnite. Like you'll be, I haven't played Fortnite, but... You got to get that joint. If the, if the stick's not dead in here, we usually be on that. Just to pass the time. What is so great about Fortnite? Ain't it like a Grand Theft Auto type thing? Yeah, it's like Hunger Games, but Hunger you get Game the build. Auto. It's like, no. Yeah, basically. That's yeah. lit. I actually gotta get into that thing. You get the build. Like Call of Duty, people shooting at you and shit, and you can't build. Damn. And then Minecraft, I never played Minecraft, but I don't think there's no guns. Oh, and you so, like guns? So they merge both. He likes guns, guys. Nah. <laughs> like, Nigga got the strap. <laughs> Don't check the swag bag. Snitches get stitches. Yeah, real loud. Mm. Um, <laughs> uh, that's it. Peace out, Girl Scout. Sweet jeans, designer jeans. See you around like a donut. Make sure you stay tuned to Tyler Talks. 
and Core the Motherfucking Artist. Tune in to www.coretheartist.com or yeah. follow me on Instagram at Core the Artist or whatever. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. I think you might feel some type of way. I got sick on the daily. I know it's funny, but it's true. Oh. And I bought the Mercedes all by myself. Got the papers to prove. Let's go. <laughs> that was like that. I feel like I'm